Hello, uh, intro, you know the deal. Uh, another quick video here. Uh, this is going to be on the more human side of things. Uh, and it is NSFW. Um, so if you're in a public environment playing this on a speaker, you might want to put some headphones in. I figured I would make this quick little video, you know, to save a lot of people from a lot of emotional turmoil. Uh, super easy. I'm just gonna... <laughs> this is a joke here. I'm just gonna pump it out real quick. So, 11.22 a.m. <clears throat> Porn is a form of interdimensional sex. Uh, this is why an overconsumption of porn leads to erectile dysfunction even in young, healthy males. Uh, I'm reading from the past, by the way. I'm going to go to the future in a second. Uh, when you consume too much porn, uh, your sexual drive is linked to the second-dimensional images slash videos that you're immersed in. Uh, the same way that Pavlov's Law works, if you don't know what that is, look it up. You have a computer. Uh, doing this enough times causes a man's sexual drive to solely be ignited by the second dimension. Porn becomes the only thing that you can get off to. And attempting to ignite one's sexual drives in solely the third dimension becomes an arduous, if not impossible, task, as the body has thus become wired to only feel aroused when presented with sexual imagery on a screen. So we're going to go to the future here. Uh, it makes perfect sense when you think about it. With men, obviously there are penises. Where there are penises, there is unwanted arousal, which results in said penis becoming visibly aroused. Uh, that's what boners are. In contrast to the vagina, where arousal is much more subtle in the form of mild swelling and increased self-lubrication. As is common with most people, men particularly have trained themselves from puberty to not become aroused around others. As an erect penis in a non-sexual situation is, or at least should be, uh, something to be avoided. Pair this self-conditioning of don't get hard around other people with a porn addiction, and that's what leads to erectile dysfunction in actual sexual scenarios, as the subconscious conditioning of separating sexuality from social situations amplifies the subconscious conditioning of only becoming aroused from porn. So, in case you're a man who genuinely does seek pleasure in the company of women, uh, who has been in a situation where your tool just didn't want to cooperate, or a man seeking pleasure in the company of other men, you know, I guess it, it's all universal. Uh, that might be why. Of course, there are other factors that can be at play, such as underlying health conditions, uh, but if you're a healthy male, and you still can't get it up, and you don't know why, then you may have just found your answer. And also, in case you're a woman who's been with a man who very clearly seemed into you, uh, and was into you, but couldn't get it up still, and he was just as upset as you, uh, but you're confused because you don't have a penis, so you don't really know how it works, uh, and just assume that it should be easy to get hard if you're horny. Uh, thus, you just default to the idea that he didn't find you attractive in the moment and harbor self-esteem issues because of it. Uh, then you may have just found your answer as well. That's all for this one. Quick little video. Hope you have a wonderful moment. Hope you learned something. I bid you adieu. Blah, blah, blah. Au revoir.